Hey, Jacob. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Man, the book editing business must be booming. You're a tough guy to get a hold of. Hey, speaking of editing books, I um, took a look at your edit of my book. A lot of it looked great, man. Where's the hobbit milk, Jacob? <laughs> you heard me, bitch. Where's the hobbit milk? The milk! The milk the hobbits have. The milk they're full of. You cut the hobbit milk. Every other page I turn expecting to see, oh, oh, here's where the hobbits milk Bilbo for his birthday. Oh, oh no, no, here's, here's where the fellowship takes a second breakfast of hobbits milk. Oh, oh, here's where they finally drown Gollum in 2% hobbits milk. But now, now, you're my editor, and I am J.R.R. Tolkien, and I understand that this relationship is a collaboration. Uh -huh. The milk isn't relevant to the plot. <laughs> Pull one narrative thread, Jacob. <laughs> and you might find yourself one elbow patch short of a tweed jacket, you cock. <laughs> where, where does Frodo keep the one ring? He's piercing it on one of his six milky nipples, Jacob. <laughs> How does the Balrog fall to his doom? He's slipping and sliding it on the excess hobbit milk. <laughs> and how do the ring rates track the hobbits? They can smell the milk, Jacob. They can smell hobbit milk from a mile away. That's their main power. <laughs> Sorry, you just don't think that's Tolkien-esque? Oh my god. <laughs> Jacob telling Jerry Randall Randall Tolkien what is <laughs> and what is not Tolkien-esque. Three things are Tolkien-esque, Jacob. One, made up languages. Two, metaphors for industrialism. Three, every race got different milks, Jacob. <laughs> which actually brings me to my next concern, which is what happened to my maps. <laughs> what happened to my diagrams? <laughs> what happened to my genealogies? <laughs> and what was wrong with my cover art? <laughs> Sauron and I? Have you been drinking stupid juice, Jacob? <laughs> Finally, Jacob, could you illuminate me as to why I found the fourth book in the Lord of the Rings quadrology, Legends of the Froth, <laughs> sitting in your secretary's trash with a bookmark 20 pages in? <laughs> Oh, you read it. Oh. <laughs> My mistake, Jacob. My mistake. Sing me the song of Bum Fum, then. <laughs> song of Bum Fum. You know, chapter 12. Once I sat with Bum Fum, he's been on a bat and ran. No? I said, good sir, your hobbits milk's the best in all the town. <laughs> we splashed and splashed and splashed and splashed, we splashed the day away, with hobbits milk exploding out his nipples, oh hooray! So, hi did do, hi did he, hi did you, hi did me, hi did him, hi did she, that's how my hobbit milks me, I want to kill you. <laughs> I want you to end, I just want you to be over. <laughs> why milk? That's what you want to know. You want to know why J.R.R. Tolkien is so obsessed with milk? <laughs> Pathetic. If I tried to boss my mother around like this, she would have given me three extra spanks with the milk pail and said, go fetch more milk, J.R.R. Tolkien, otherwise it's your fault we're poor. <laughs> Yeah.
cut all of that. 